All right, here we are with today's video. Today, we are going to be doing a suggested video by Carter Pollack saying to do a rebuild with no Western Conference players. So that's pretty dang easy, right? It's an easy rebuild challenge, but let's do it. We're not going to have any players that are from the Western Conference on our team. We're going to do a fantasy draft, get ourselves a random team, and then we have to trade away basically everyone who's plays in the Western Conference currently. So we need a random team here. Before we stop the spinning though, could you guys, you know, hit the subscribe button if you're new. It will help us hit 2,000 subscribers. It'd be dope if you guys could do that. And also like the video. That also helps it help us out a lot. Uh, helps the video out and recommend it as well. But here we go. We are going to stop right now and we get the Phoenix Suns. So let's hope we get a good pick. We end up with the 21st pick and I mean, it would be lovely if we could get someone nice here, but I'm not expecting us to be able to. Zion has already gone, so we cannot bring Zion or Ben Simmons. God, we couldn't even get Zion. Zion's in the West, isn't he? Ben Simmons would have been nice, though. But anyway, we'll simulate the draft, see who we get. We end up with Pascal Siakam. Not bad. He's from the East. We can keep Pascal. That's nice. So Shea, we need to get rid of. Nurkic, we need to trade. Barton, we need to trade. Burks, we can keep. That's actually really handy because a lot of teams actually want Alec Burks in trades. So Alec Burks is nice to have. Harry Giles, Ish Smith. So Darius Garland, we could use him, but like I'm going to probably trade him away. So as like every single rebuild challenge we do, we move players to the different positions so that their trade value goes up. We don't do that with Alec Burks, otherwise teams don't want him anymore. Our largest contract player is Yusuf Nurkic. So if we trade Nurk with, say, Darius Garland, could we bring Devin Booker is from the West? We cannot have Western Conference players. We need Eastern Conference players here. So I was looking through the trades here. We can get Jimmy Butler, who currently plays for the Miami Heat, which means we could get Jimmy Butler. Plus, we also get Spencer Dinwiddie. He's good, solid backup point guard we could have. Or there was a trade here that we could get Bam and John Collins. I get Bam out of bio a lot. So I'm going to do this trade for Jimmy Butler. I don't get Jimmy Buckets as much. So we're going to bring in Jimmy. And we should now have a good starting small forward and power forward. Even though their tendencies are broken, we can trade for someone even better now. We can trade Ish Smith, Billy Preston, a first, our first this year, but it has three stars. Uh, trade value for John Wall and Karis LeVert. Both players we can use on our team because they currently play for Eastern Conference teams. So our starting point guard is John Wall, small forward Jimmy Butler, power forward Pascal. We just need a better starting center and I think shooting guard, although Karras is not that bad. See, the thing is here, we can just get Bam for Shea. Like, and we also get John Collins here as well. We have to give up Harry Giles, which I'm all right with. We get John Collins as well. Like, that's, that's pretty dang good. Let's just put it that way. That's pretty dang good. I'm happy with this. I think we could probably trade Collins and LeVert now for a better starting shooting guard. Well, we're going to trade John Wall for Kemba Walker, and we also get Wendell Carter in this deal as well. I'm very happy with that, man. I'm very happy with that. Well, uh, Kemba Walker is a little bit better. I prefer Kemba a little bit more. Uh, just a bit better offensively, better shooter, better, like, you know, playmaker, all that type of stuff. So we're going to do that. And now we still need a better starting shooting guard, do we not? Yes, we do. Well, uh, a trade just went through for us to get Jalen Brown. I think we might have overpaid. Actually, no, I don't think that was an overpay. We had to give up Karis LeVert, Alec Burks, and Wendell Carter. Uh, and a first for Jalen Brown, who is going to develop very, very nicely for our team. So we've got a backcourt is a Boston Celtics backcourt. Let's just say that. Plus, we've added Jimmy Butler, Pascal Siakam, and Bam Adebayo. That's a very good starting five that's going to develop nicely. Our bench, on the other hand, we've got Spencer Dinwiddie still. That's our point guard off of our bench. But we need uh, probably a big man to come off the bench if possible. I mean, Tice is nice. Tice is nice. That's a rhyme, you know? That's a rhyme. Okay. Anyway, we've got Tice... Mm. We got Tice to come off of our bench here. We could actually play him at the four because look at his height. He's six. Uh, he's six eight and he can shoot the three. So I'm quite happy to play him at the four position if need be. Uh, if we can find another center, we should be. Uh, that should be good. Alex Len works. There we go. We've got ourselves a backup center unless we can trade Len uh, with say Nwaba for a better backup center. Or backup shooting guard. That works too. Thank you. We got Norman Powell. We're basically just going to get the Raptors and Celtics on our team, man. A team for this first season. Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, Pascal Siakam, and Bam out of bio starting five. I like it. Should develop nicely. 
Spencer Dinwiddie, Daniel Tice, Norman Powell, and Willie Hernan Gomez coming off of our bench. Scoring options, we got Siakam, Adebayo, and then Jimmy Butler. Proficiency, we got a four-star system with balance, and we are the projected 29th seed. So let's see if we can beat that, hey? At the All-Star break, we have two All-Stars in Jimmy Butler and Pascal Siakam. We finished the season 62 and 20 once again, like usual. Luka Doncic is MVP. Zion won Rookie of the Year. Plums, Plumley, six man. All right, Kawhi defensive. Luka Doncic again, most improved. And Monty Williams, Coach of the Year. We finish as the one seed in the West, which is weird considering we have a team full of Eastern Conference players, but it's okay. Player stats here: Siakam was our leading scorer, averaging 21.2 points, seven boards, and about two assists a night. Bam out of bio. Pulling down a double double with almost two assists a night. Jimmy Butler 18, 6, and 6. Kemba 16, 3, and 6. And Jalen Brown 14, 4, and 2. So that's decent from our starting five. Off the bench, Dinwiddie also had six assists as well. So that's pretty good. Team stats points per game will first. Defensively, we will third. And differential, we will first by two points. First round here against the Rockets. Let's just simulate playoffs, see what goes through, and see if we can get through it quicker. We lose game one, which is not a good sign. Never mind. We go up 3 1, and. Oh, they take it to six, and we win in six. Okay, well, we're taking on the Memphis Grizzlies, who, because we're simulating playoffs, I cannot check to see who's on that team. Uh, we're up 3-1, though, and whoever wins this, go, okay, game seven, we lose in seven. We blew a 3-1 lead. They had Kyle Lowry, Tobias, and Jokic. That's actually not bad. That's not a bad team there. That's a nice little team I've got. I think we're going to struggle getting past the Grizzlies every year. Raptors won the championship, and Kawhi won finals MVP. Kawhi? Kyrie. Draft lottery here. I don't think... Yeah, no. We don't even have our own first round pick. So why are we even here? Don't know. We don't have first round picks. We're going to file Monty Williams because he managed to get us, uh, you know, booted in the first round. We're going to try and bring Mike D'Antoni onto the squad. And you know what? Randy Martin for a season seems to be a good call. We also should probably get a new assistant GM because he his stats were horrendous. Okay, we get everyone but Randy Martin. Okay, we can do that. So we need a new assistant GM. Martin, uh, Michael, there we go. We get everyone there. Just making sure we do have a second round pick. So let's see what we do with it. And we pick up Reggie Perry with that second round pick, which could be a nice rotational player for us in the future. We don't have any qualifying or team player options. So that's pretty nice as well. Our cap situation, we are negative 75 million inside the cap. So I don't expect us to be able to sign anybody, but I'm all right with that because look at our team Our team's only gonna get better. That's the thing. Our team's only gonna get better with time So if the longer this rebuild goes on the better for us However, I would like to bring a better backup center off of our bench and I'm thinking going like Alex Len here. He should be an alright backup center for us. We got two training camps here. We'll go untapped potential to probably say Bam out of bio because you know he's our starting center and you know he's probably our second scoring options. And I'll also give it to Jalen Brown. Our rotation for this second season is basically the exact same. Kemba, Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, Pascal, and Bam out of bio. We then have Dinwiddie, Tice, Powell, and Alex Len coming off of our bench. Scoring options, Pascal, Bam, and Jimmy Butler. And we've got a seven second system because it's four and a half stars. So that's definitely one we're going to use. Power rankings with a projected two seed. Let's see if we can do better than last season. We've got two all stars once again this year. We've got Jimmy Butler on Team Lillard and we got Pascal Siakam on Team LeBron. Well, I mean, we didn't do any better, but we also didn't do any worse. So 60 and 22. James Harden wins MVP. At least Luca didn't win it again. Uh, Kendrick Nunn won six man. Decent. Kawhi defensive. Chris, most improved, and D'Antoni, coach of the year. Jimmy Butler makes all defensive second team. And we once again finish as the one seed in the Western Conference. Pascal was once again our leading scorer with 21 points, six boards, and about two assists tonight. 18, 11, and two for Bam. 17, six, and six for Butler. 16, three, and six for Kemba. 15, four, and two for Jalen Brown. There's the rest of the stats if you guys were wondering. Offensively, we're first. Defensively, we were about seventh, and our differential was the best in the league. So so first round here against Portland. Let's sim it. Let's see what goes on. We go down 2-1. Um, this is not nice. Two each. Could we maybe not go down three? Okay, we go down 3-2. And we get eliminated in the first round by the fucking eighth seed. That's awesome, 2K. I think we might need to change something up here. Damian Lillard had 43 points and Oladipo had 25. So I'm thinking we might have to change our team up a bit here. The Spurs won the championship and Trey Young finals MVP. Draft lottery time. And I don't think we have a pick. No, the Knicks have two lottery picks though. Do we have our own? Oh, we actually have our own, the 29th pick. So at least we have a first round pick this year. We need a trainer for this final season. And uh, because we're going to probably try and make some trades here, change things up a bit, uh, hopefully we can do something here. Joel Embiid. That could work. 
Joel would be nice. If we can get Joel from, who was it, the Pistons, that would be awesome. I was going to make a trade for Joel Embiid, but I just realized we don't have enough picks to do that. So if we go to the draft, to see what we can get in. We managed to pick up Trendon Watford with our pick, so he could come in handy for us. Dinwiddie really decline and Powell decline, so that's upsetting, but we also have to re-sign Bam. So we got a lot of free agents to re-sign this year. We got Bam, Dinwiddie, Tice, and Paul Powell. So Bam is our first number one option here. Bam, we're going to offer him the max with a player option. Uh, Dinwiddie, I will give him a little bit more than he wants, uh, plus a player option. And I'd prefer to have Tice on our team more than Powell. But at the same time, we can just do this and get Powell back as well. So that could work. So I'm very happy with this team right now. I'm very happy with it. I'll see you guys down at training camps. Actually, I'm not very happy with it. I do got to make a trade. Training camps, before we change our team up dramatically, we're going untap potential because i'm very happy with spencer dinwiddie staying on our bench as our backup point same with norman powell and probably tice i'm all right with that it's our starting five that i want to change up a bit you know what stuffer i believe in this team i'm gonna go and try and oh, please please can this team do well this season if not, that would suck. Why does Pascal Siakam not develop in this game? I have no idea. 2K, fix your fucking game. But anyway, starting five. Kemba Walker, Jalen Brown, Jimmy Butler, Pascal, and Bam Adebayo starting five. We then have Dinwiddie, Tyus, Norman Powell, and Reggie Perry coming off our bench. Scoring options, Pascal, Bam, and Jimmy. We got a five and... Mm, we got a four and a half star system proficiency and we are the projected one seed. Can we please do something this season? Once again, the only two all-stars we have is Pascal and Jimmy Butler. But at the same time, we're winning games still. I'm not understanding how we haven't won a championship yet. Final season, we go 53 and 29. Luca once again, MVP, you know, the usual people winning the usual awards. However, however, we get, do get Jimmy Butler, all NBA third team. So hopefully that changes our luck around a bit. We finish as a two seed this season. So a bit worse, but let's see if that can change it a bit here. Siakam putting up 25 and four, Butler 19, nine, uh, six and seven. But bam, 18, 11, and 3. Jalen Brown, 15, 4, and 3. Kemba, 13, 2, and 6. I don't understand how Kemba Walker is not putting up good numbers, bro. Like, I don't understand how this team isn't winning. Points per game, we managed to drop down a 10th. Defensively, our team was about 5th, and our differential was about 6th. So, let's see what we can do in this last playoff series. And we're down 2-1. I wouldn't be surprised if we get eliminated here in the first round once again because 2K is a pain in the bum. Yep, there we go. We lose in the first round again. What do you think? Should this team have lost in the first round? Imagine this team in real life. This team would absolutely kick ass defensively, offensively. It would just be mwah, amazing. But according to 2K, it does shit. It gets eliminated in the first round. But yeah, hopefully you guys all have enjoyed this uh, disappointing rebuild where we have won nothing. Uh, if you did, please be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. It would be absolutely amazing if you guys could do that. But I'm going to leave the video here. Hopefully you guys all have a good rest of the day. I'll catch you guys in tomorrow's video.